What's going on, y'all? We back here at the DC. We just hooked up to a trailer. And we got a load going from Broomfield, Connecticut to Mount Pocono, PA. So, we got a little light load, nothing crazy. Right now, I'm just out here making sure, you know, my, re my regular checks. Making sure everything empty. Oh, they got a strap in there. That's about to be mine. Um, making sure my trailer's empty. My trailer look good. Everything good to go. So, um, we got to be there at 11 a.m. Right now, it is almost 11, but thank God it's only 10 minutes away. So, for right now, um, we definitely about to head to this pickup i'm about to get everything together hook up the trailer all the hoses connect everything um nice day today y'all sunny a little break from texas for right now um probably be going down there again next week so let me hook up this trailer y'all and i'll get back to y'all in a little bit This to my collection. And it's, it's brand new. Somebody left this here. I'm about to make this mug. So we here, trying to empty, nice and clean. We about to get out of here, y'all. Alright, y'all. We just got to our pickup. This is Niagara bottling. I'm not sure where the entrance is for the building. So I just know that there was a sign down there that says trucks come this way. I don't know where the shipping and receiving building is. So I'm pretty much just gonna walk around a little bit and try to figure out where everything is at. Um, that's what I hate about like doing these types of runs. like or just runs in general, like when they don't have their um, their stuff label, their buildings label, you know, their offices, shipping and receiving office label. It's hard to find stuff. So this guy just flying down in here. Bro. I don't know if I got to go where he's going. I see a water truck here. I don't know. I don't know where this uh, this place is. This entrance for this building is. Maybe it's around the building. It's not much more place to walk. I see some doors over here, but um, I don't see nothing that says shipping and receiving office. Nothing else down there, y'all. So I'm gonna just check back here. There's nothing back here. All right, y'all. So I'm probably gonna have to walk around the building. I don't want to drive because I'm not sure what else is back there. So, probably gonna have to drive, I mean walk around that bend to see if there's an office back here. I don't know. There's nothing on this side. It gotta be around the corner. Maybe you come back here to wait until your number is being called. I don't know, but I'm gonna take a look and see y'all 
And when I get back over there, when I get back over there, I'm gonna let y'all know what we gotta do. Cause this is crazy. <laughs> So, I don't know, no idea. I done rang this thing like three times already. I still can't speak to somebody. Pick up. Go ahead with the number, sir. Three, three. Uh, three, three, seven, uh, three, three, seven, four, five, nine, zero, three. What's the broker and destination for the load, sir? Uh, the destination for the load is, um, Mount Pocono. And the broker name? Uh, Edge Logistics, I think. Yeah, Edge, okay. Edge Logistics, yeah. Your trailer number? Trailer number 378526. 53 drive-in? Yeah, 53 drive-in, yeah. All right, so we just got out. So we have door 31. Crazy process over here. Trying to get in here and back in, and everybody, everybody trying to come in here right now. But um, so we we just backed into our door, y'all, and um, I just spoke to this lady right here down there in the green. She told me uh, once we finish getting loaded, we gotta go around the corner to the kiosk, and we're supposed to get the paperwork and everything printed right there at the kiosk. I had to slide my channels all the way to the back. Um, I usually just come in and make sure everything is everything is straight. Um, I don't think I'm in there all the way. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think I'm supposed to be further back. Yep. So I gotta move the truck back some more and uh, lock that in, and everything should be good. What's going on, y'all? So we just downloaded. I'm in the back of the trailer right now. See what we working with. I was trying to secure it, but they blocked the strap over there. They blocked the, the hooks over there. So I'm trying to figure out how to secure it is. This is a terrible secure right here. But we got a bunch of them down there. I don't think it should move. Hopefully we're not going too far, but you just never know anything to happen. I want to be able to secure my load. So right now I'm just trying to figure out, I know this, this right here is not good because we got this whole gap right here and that's there. So the only thing that's getting secured is just right here in the corner, but it's only got so much you can do. Um, man, I don't know y'all, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to secure this with what I got, with the space that's, that's given to me, but it seems like it's impossible to do. Cause you got this whole space right here. I think it should be all right. I'm gonna just leave it like this for right now and just take my time driving down to Pennsylvania and ho hopefully it don't like shift or move or anything. And another thing, I hate how they, how they wrap this down. They put this thin layer of, of shrink wrap around it. And then they just, that little bit right there, what about the rest? They didn't even like really wrap it down, strap it, like wrap it to the, to the pallet. So, yeah, this is 
what we're working with right now. They ain't really wrapped it the way I want it to be wrapped. And I think all of them are like that, pretty much. Yeah, all of them are like that. It's all good, y'all. We gonna do what we gotta do to the best of our abilities. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be grateful for our load. You know? It might not be the best, it might not be perfect, but it's better than nothing, so. I'm just gonna work with what I got. Um, this should be okay. I'm just gonna take my time going down to PA and pop this load off, y'all. So this is what we're working with. We got that Target brand purified water. We headed to Mount Pocono, PA, y'all. So I'm gonna holler at y'all in a little bit. the drop off it's 8 30 in the morning we hit bright and early i pulled up last night we couldn't get to go in because uh <laughs> they were closed by the time i got here I got here 5 30 and they're like oh yeah you can't go in we're closed so you have to uh come back at uh they open at eight o'clock in the morning my appointment is for nine so I'm here, we got another Warner driver here. And we got to back into door 18, which is this last one down here. So hopefully it's a smooth back. I've never backed into like one of these building looking things, but I'd be scared that it might touch the top. But hopefully we should be good on the back and in. Like I said, y'all, um, got here last night. We couldn't get to get unloaded. I was trying to get unloaded and go home, but unfortunately, they told me I had to come back in the morning. So here I am in the morning. Um, how are we gonna do this? I think I'm gonna make a U-turn, come all the way down here, and then what they got over here. They got a piece of road right here. I'm gonna pull up to this up there, get back straight in. So, that's pretty much the story right now, y'all. We are out here. Mount Pocono, y'all, it's crazy. The roads up here, to come up here is crazy. But I'm about to get this truck back then. I'm gonna holler at y'all in a little bit. Give me 20 minutes. You said what, boss? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, so when I'm done, oh, I gotta I'll go back and... No, oh, you gonna get the paperwork? Okay, cool, no problem. All right, y'all, so we just backed into our door. We right here, door 18. About to get unloaded right now. He just said 20 minutes, so um, definitely about to go and uh, see what I can do. Just chill out here for a minute. He unhooked the, the emergency emergency hole, so and I I had to. He uh, slid the, He helped me slide the tandem to the back. So it's pretty decent. Everything slid to the back. We locked in, so we good, y'all. We in here. So. Should be done with this real quick and then I'm out. <sighs> All right, y'all. So, we're about to get unloaded. I'm about to go chip and chop real quick. And I'm going to holler at y'all in a little bit when we done. So, 
Okay, so we just finished getting loaded up. <clears throat> just got loaded up, unloaded. Good to go, boss? All right. <clears throat> just got unloaded, y'all. We about to pull the trailer up, fix our tandems, and we getting out of here. like 20 minutes to unload not too bad like that's a good that's a good decent amount of time so um definitely definitely about to get out of here we about to roll out he's trying to move some traffic around for me so i can pull out of here all right y'all we unloaded about to close up everything now about to head back to the dc drop off the trailer i don't think they got anything else for me i gotta slide the tandems back for right now we done our trailer is empty we about, to, we about to be done and go home we'll sit for the day for me so i'm not a fan of the pocono mountains because of the hills but this load, this load was extremely heavy. This load was like 45,000 pounds and going up the hills out here in the Pocono Mountains it was crazy, but we made it. We delivered safely. Everything good, y'all. So I appreciate y'all for watching my video, for rocking with me, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. You gotta slide these tandems. stuff rusty but yeah i appreciate y'all for rocking with me like comment subscribe share whatever y'all gotta do show me some love y'all got questions drop it in the comments i'll try to get back to y'all as quickly as i can um about to head back to the dc like i said we about to drop off this trailer we out here y'all poking no mountains we at nf5 supposed to be target but we at nfi y'all i'm about to get out of here y'all see y'all in the next one